あなたの相手は私です Top 10 Most Anticipated Winner 2021 Anime. It's interesting how, at the beginning of this year, we are celebrating the start of another decade of anime. And now, before we even knew it, only a few weeks are left till the end of 2020. Fortunately, we have a stupid number of genuinely good anime coming up in the next few months. Now, before we talk about them, I just want you all to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow, so thank you for that. Alright then, let's talk about the top 10 anticipated winner 2021 anime. Starting from number 10, the first one on our list is Mushoku Tensei Isekai Itara Honoki Dasu. Yes, we are starting this list with an isekai anime. And it's not just any isekai, it's the adaptation of one of the highest rated isekai light novels there are. The story features a 34 year old shut in who dies while saving life and then ends up getting reincarnated into a fantasy world as a newborn baby. Now, it's not something that hasn't been done before, so I understand why some of you might feel skeptical. But among those who have read the light novel, this series is a gem among gems, and if the adaptation does the light novel justice, we might just experience the making of another isekai masterpiece. Let us all join the protagonist as he vows to really live his life this time with no regrets. じゃあレミ宮村くんもらっていい石川くんは堀さんが好きそっちに非があるなら謝ってほしいだけなんだよ堀さん Up next at number 9 we have Horimiya A beautiful manga that has enchanted the hearts of several manga readers around the world is now about to get its anime adaptation and the studio is Cloverworks That's right, this wholesome story is about to turn into an anime by the same studio that produced shows like Bunny Girl Senpai, The Promised Neverland, and Millionaire Detective, and anticipation amongst those who are even slightly familiar with this story is very real. And of course, if you haven't realized it yet, this is going to be a romance anime, and I kid you not, this anime won't disappoint. <laughs> Up next at number 8, we have Sein Kokuo Danshi Voli Bu. It's no secret that Haikyuu is the anime that changed our perspective on the sports called volleyball. It is the reason why we don't see volleyball as just some sport to play on the beach. And now, as the fourth season is about to end in the next two months, we have another volleyball anime coming right after that, and the trailer looks very promising. Now, I don't want you all thinking that we have to start comparing this anime to the likes of Haikyuu. Of course not. It's just that, isn't it great to be treated with another volleyball story now that Haikyuu's manga has ended? Well then, looks like we finally jump into our upcoming sequels. If you haven't watched these animes before, now is the time. Haruko, I thought I was going to be able to win. 2.43 is for that reason. Number seven, we have Dr. Stone Stone Wars. All it takes is one green light to plummet the civilization back to the Stone Age. However, the 16 year old protagonist, or should I say, over 3,700 year old boy, Senku Ishigami, knows some science and he knows his stuff. So he vows to take the civilization right back to the digital age. It is interesting to see a shonen that puts emphasis on science. And now, this anime is back with a sequel. Things are about to get interesting. The Kingdom of Science versus the Tsukasa Empire. Who will prevail victorious? Up next at number 6, we have Tobun no Hanoyomi. 
one of the only few harem anime that everybody should watch. It's the quintessential quintuplets. Heck, earlier this year, the manga hit over 4 million sales and became one of the best-selling mangas of the recent years. Now that the manga has ended and fans all across the seven big islands have read it all the way up to the end, fans patiently wait for the anime so that they can see the five sisters in color again. And now at number 5, we have Tensei Shintara Slime Dataken, second season. Not all anime are loved equally, but as far as the isekai genre goes, this anime is loved by a fair majority of isekai fans. The title itself intrigues a fair amount of curiosity. I mean, how many do you think would be interesting in the time I got reincarnated as a slime? Yet, there are a lot of people who are waiting for the second season, including myself. Also, just like the first one, the second season is also going to be 2 core, but the second core will air in the summer of 2021. Fortunately, they are only going to be a few months apart. Moving on at number 4, the anime we have is RE0 Kara Hajimeru Isekai Sekatsu Second Season Part 2. RE0 is unarguably the most popular isekai anime there is. You can even find the protagonist's name next to the word suffering in any dictionary. I'm just kidding. Well, anyways, the first core of the second season ended just a few weeks ago, and it was great. I mean, how can we not enjoy a day in the life of Subaru Natsuki? And now, the second core of the second season is right around the corner. Let's just hope they go easy on our boy. <laughs> Up next, at the third spot, we have Yakusoku no Neverland second season. This anime totally caught us by surprise. Who would have thought that the wholesome looking story of the everyday life of some cute kids will completely transition to a psychological thriller in just a sickle episode? Except the manga readers, of course. They know everything. The first season was a major success, and now the anime is back with the second season. Rei and Emma, along with a few other kids, have made it outside the farm. Now, what will it be? Are they finally free? Or was there never a promised land to begin with? Two more months until we find that out. Don't forget that this anime may be a shonen, but it is still a psychological thriller. <laughs> Moving on the second spot, we have Gintama The Final. One of the highest rated animes of all time. The anime that we have all come to love, the anime that goes by the name Gintama, aka Silver Balls, is about to come to a conclusion with this final movie. This time, even Gintama might not be able to troll their way back to another sequel as the manga has already ended. And this movie will adapt those last few chapters of the manga. That's right guys, Gintama will finally end on January 8th, 2021. And the hype is as real as it has always been. And now, the final anime on this list, Shingeki no Kyojin slash Attack on Titan, the final season. Only a few months is left till the release date of Attack on Titan's final season. 
The manga is currently in the last few chapters and saying that the hype is very real might be an understatement. With this last season, every major question will be answered and everything will start to make sense. Or maybe not, we'll see. We'll still see Aaron go through some interesting growth spurts throughout. This might also be a good opportunity to rewatch the first three seasons as you might have forgotten some details over the years. Only 24 episodes till it's time to bid farewell to yet another masterpiece. <laughs> So there you go guys, out of all of these animes, which one are you interested in the most? Or rather, which ones are you looking forward to watch? Feel free to mention any anime that isn't there in the video. Now before you go, I just want you all to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow, and it is a great way of earning some good karma from the universe. Also, ring the bell while you're at it. Well then, I'll see you guys on my next video.